to make the story more immersive, set building is very important. We were used to building sets that are flatter, like the countryside, mainline and stations. But this time, we have to recreate mountains. To make it look believable, I don't think a simple camera angle trick would do. So as you can see, I've built physical inclination with a little plastic board I found lying around in my home and some boxes or any items underneath for support. We try to keep the sets realistic and true to the original. So way before filming, we researched on the illustrations and real locations in order for the sets to base on. Filming took place across two of my personal trips, one to the US and the other one to Iceland, and I've got things from both of them that contributed to this project. From the US trip, I've got some rock face that ended up at the summit and some fence. And as for from Iceland, I've got some rocks back, and you can just see them casually lying everywhere. In addition to these sets, we also need dioramas for close-ups like Audrey's home and the manager's office. Two sets actually utilize the same sheets for walls, just flipped over. That's why you always view the home from the right and the office from the left. I just love adding little details and easter eggs in these sets and they were just so much fun to build. As for the figures, the reference Audrey was made for the finale of our season 1 while the manager was specifically made for this special, as all of his scenes involves him only sitting on his desk. He actually only has an upper body. Another fun fact was during filming, some of the coaches were still unnamed. So we've made markings under the carriage with numbers or other symbols to make sure that we don't mix them up. Another thing I've made sure during filming is that no fishing wire should appear on the screen too apparently. You know, sometimes when we film with the fishing wire still attached to the engine, but we're not actually tightening it or using it, it curls up right in front of the camera and it looks really annoying. I made a promise to myself not to allow that to happen, and if it did, I will force myself to reshoot that scene. <laughs> 